Hi everyone, it's Teresa here of Larkin Design and welcome to my very first blog post and video for the Citrus Twist design team. I'm so delighted and honored to join this team and wanted to share with you my first project. It is a project that I did to begin work in my Life Crafted album. And so I'm working with the Life Crafted kit for March today, which is called Life Chapters. And I also received the 4x6 This Is Life stamp set. And so I'm going to be working with that. I'm going to jump right into that and show you how I use this for this project. And so this is a really simple way to add a punch to your stamped images. And that is just to do a watercolor background. And for this one, I simply grabbed a little four by six piece of watercolor paper. Um, you can use plain white cardstock if you want to. Um, but watercolors react beautifully with watercolor paper and they get a little more fluid and a little more movie 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 groovy and so I'm just pulling two or three colors from the my favorite patterned paper in the kit this this floral is featured on one of the pattern papers and there's also a couple of die cuts in the ephemera pack that feature this beautiful floral and I love the colors on this. A very light blue, almost gray color and the, the pink, pinkish coral in a lighter tone and then in a darker tone. And so I just pulled a basic $5 watercolor kit that you can get at Michael's, AC Moore, you can get these almost anywhere. And I just let the color wash over the page. I wasn't really worried about where the color was specifically on the page um, because ultimately what I'm gonna do is just simply stamp my images on this paper now once I set it with the heat gun I'm going to stamp the images that I want and cut them out. And so it'll have just a little a tiny bit of color on the background. And this is so quick and so easy, but it adds a little more dimension to your stamped images. And I thought that these labels that were in the stamp set with the kit and the, the uh, This Is Life stamp set, they both lend themselves to this kind of watercolored washed kind of background so I enjoyed doing that and if you're like me and you just love playing with watercolors and watching the colors move over the paper it's incredibly therapeutic um, and it's also beautiful once it's done and once you use those on your layout. And so you can stamp a whole sheet of these if you like and cut them all out and use them throughout the month. I chose for right now just to stamp two labels and so I'll get started on the actual layout and show you how I ended up using those labels. So this is the first layout in my Life Crafted album. And my plan for this album is just to house some of the smaller scale projects that I wanna work on that are fun creative outlets for me. I frequently use this size to uh, document my personal life, to document some of my emotional and uh, psychological work that I'm going through at any given time. And sometimes I just like to document fun, favorite things that I'm doing or uh, participating in throughout the month and or throughout the year, or just whatever, whatever I find inspiring and whenever I want to do something creative that's not so serious. This is a place for for creative play and for just having a good time with it. 
And so I am starting out with a photo of myself. My husband took this photo of me at our Thanksgiving dinner last November. I was blowing out <laughs> one of the matches from lighting the candles at the table before we ate. And so I feel like um, the, the products in this kit tell a story about starting a new life chapter. And this can be any time in our life, any time in our life, we can turn the page and say, all right, that chapter is done and I'm going to move forward from that and I'm going to start a new chapter and we're going to do some things different. We're going to do some things new. And that's what I feel like in my life right now. Hopefully I'll be able to carry that through this album a little bit. But I loved having some products that help me tell that story that I am in a new, I'm on a new journey and things look kind of bright right now. And I'm loving that. And I'm loving that the colors in this kit bring in a sort of subdued feeling, um, but very bright and very happy. Is it possible to be bright and subdued at the same time? Here you go. <laughs> So um, I started creating my embellishment cluster on the photo and then I was really super inspired by this little pocket that's in the kit. And so I'm going to put my journaling on a journaling card to go inside this little pocket. And you saw me while I was rambling about new beginnings. Um, you saw me punch the holes for the little pocket and it's just going to go in front of the photo and um, have a journaling card to go inside it. And then I also did an embellishment cluster on the front of this little pocket here. And I love working on things in a smaller scale. Um, it's one of the reasons why, I, <clears throat> excuse me, one of the reasons why I love working with pocket pages. And this is an opportunity to do a pocket, a pocket kind of, layout in a different way uh, without a page protector, right? And so you'll notice my embellishment cluster. First, I sort of played around with the arrangement before I stuck anything down. And I have two tips for you for creating embellishment clusters that work. Two and possibly a secret third. Um, so my first advice for creating embellishment clusters that pop is to use colors that contrast. And you'll notice here I have the label that I created with the watercolor background. And I have a pink circle that the bird is on. And I have that little arrow that's a peachy color, peachy coral color. And then I have that little green word strip as well and a little heart. And everything there is a different color. And of course, they contrast compared to the white background. I also stamped a word sentiment directly onto the, the little pocket um, just to tie the embellishment cluster with the background itself. That's probably my favorite way to use stamps, you guys, especially when you're creating an embellishment cluster and you know that your embellishment cluster has a little stamp sentiment in it. And you'll notice that I am doing that here on the photo as well as I am building this embellishment cluster going up the side of the photo. If you're doing a stamp sentiment in one of your elements, stamp it on the background as well. Um, to tie it all together and to create sort of a home base for your embellishment cluster. Um, so my first tip was use contrasting colors. My second tip is use contrasting shapes. And so you'll notice that I have an arrow. The arrow points rather conveniently to invite you to pull out the journaling card. Uh, there's a circle, there's a rectangular label, there's a rectangular word strip. And then of course, a little tiny heart chipboard shape. And so all of those are contrasting shapes and next to each other, 
they create visual interest. So use contrasting colors, use contrasting shapes, and the secret little third tip that I didn't necessarily do here, but you can also do this as well. Use contrasting textures. So if you have cardstock and chipboard and a little fabric and a little stamp and a little uh, ribbon, those create visual interest too and give you something really cool to look at inside your embellishment clusters. And so hopefully you're seeing me build this embellishment cluster on my photo as well. And so the photo is cropped in a very vertical orientation. Um, obviously the four by eight size is, is a very verti vertical kind of look and it invites your eye to travel from the bottom up. And so that is what the cluster is leading your eye to. And it sort of happened because at first I thought I was going to just do the embellishment cluster at the bottom of the, of the photo and leave it like that. And then I realized that there was a cute little uh, banner in the ephemera kit and I wanted to use that at the top. And so I thought, well, why not connect it all together? And so I just used a variety of word strips, tabs, stamped images and another chipboard heart and notice how when the layout when you open that album now you have a chipboard heart on the pocket a little arrow that invites you to pull out the journaling card it invites you to flip the flip the pocket and to look at the photo and go lead your eye around the elements on that photo so something that I don't do very often uh, is actually stamp inside my albums, inside the album covers. But I felt inspired to do that. And um, one, because I just couldn't stop working with these beautiful products and the kit and the stamps in this, this kit and the, the um, This Is Life stamp set that I was sent. Um, it was just fun and I just it, I invite you to keep playing and keep creating when you feel that that tug um, you'll know when it's finished just by how you feel because you'll be done you'll feel done um, so I used some of the little uh, squiggles I guess or book corners here to stamp on the inside corner here and then another embellishment cluster and again, I started with a stamp on the background and this pencil, this pencil has a job here. It points to the word strip. It will point to the label and to the title that I am creating on this side of the layout. And um, of course, again, just adding a little chipboard piece here and I almost, I almost have a visual triangle with those chipboard hearts. Um, it, it doesn't have to be exactly a triangle, um, but I really love the fact that you open the album and there's already something cool for you to look at. And then when I flipped the little pocket, of course I realized that the back of the pocket needed a little something too. So I'm just flipping through these gorgeous papers and really liked these uh, turquoise and purple stripes here. They, again, they felt uh, subdued, but they're happy colors. And so I'm going to just cover the back of the pocket here with this pattern paper and then add a little ephemera a little die cut here to the back of it. So I hope that you will check out the Citrus Twist blog today. I will link that down below and all the products will be linked, of course, where you can find those. If you're not a subscriber yet to Citrus Twist, 
I encourage you to try it out. It's a beautiful kit, very beautiful colors, and I had a lot of fun working with this. And I hope that you will also subscribe to my channel. Be sure to like and comment down below and let me know what your favorite element is in this kit. I'll see you back here again soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.